हेलो वेलकम टू लेसन 53 कलेक्शंस इन सी शार्प पार्ट थ्री क्यू ब्रॉट टू बैंक प्रो टेक्नोलॉजी इज माई नेम इज हरीश इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न व्हाट इज क्यू कलेक्शन ओके द क्यू स्टोर्स द वैल्यूज इन फर्स्ट इन फर्स्ट आउट फॉर्मेट इट मींस वट एवर द एलिमेंट विच वी स्टोर विच वी स्टोर फर्स्ट इन द क्यू विल कम आउट फर्स्ट दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस सेंटेंस एंड हाउ डू आई एड एलिमेंट्स टू द क्यू वे आव अ मेथड कॉल एन क्यू टू एड एलिमेंट्स टू द क्यू एंड हाउ डू आई रिट्री बैकेट और हाउ डू आई रिमूव एलिमेंट्स फ्रॉम द क्यू वी यूज अ मेथड कॉल डी क्यू टू दैट एंड वी हैव अ मेथड कॉल पीक मेथड विच ऑलवेज रिटर्न द टॉप मोस्ट एलिमेंट इन द क्यू ओके ना विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम विल मेक योर एंड स्टडी इन कोडिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू क्यू बिफोर जम्पिंग इंडिविजुअल स्टडी ओ लेट एस अनालाइज ओ लेट एस सी वॉट आर द प्रॉपर्टीज एंड मेथड्स प्रेजेंट इन क्यू द प्रॉपर्टी इज काउंट इट विल काउंट द नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स प्रेजेंट इन द क्यू लिस्ट एंड द मेथड्स लाइक एन क्यू डी क्यू पी कंटेन्स क्लियर एंड ट्रिम टू साइज ओके ना वॉट विल डू इज विल जम्प बैक इन डिविजुअल स्टूडियो एंड विल स्टार्ट कोडिंग रिलेटेड टू क्यू ओके हाउ डू वाइज इंशलाइज अ क्यू वी हैव अ क्यू ओके एंड just going to take a uh, control dot let us press control dot sorry using system dot collections this q class is present in system dot collections so i added that and uh, i'll take a variable name as q itself and i'll uh, what i'm doing i'm just creating object of it Okay. Once I'm done with that, how do I add an elements to this queue? It's very simple. I have to call that object with the dot operator. Then I have a method called in queue. Okay. What is this method going to do? This method is going to add values to it. So now what I'm doing? I'm going to add like numbers one not one. Okay. And I'll just copy and paste. I'll add till one not five. Okay. Four. Five. Sorry, two, three, four, five. Okay, and this works fine. Now, how do I retrieve back, or how do I access them back? We have a method called DQ to do that work. Okay, what is this DQ going to do? It's very simple. Um, like Q dot DQ. What is this? dq method going to do it is removes and returns the object at the beginning of the queue okay now when i use this dq uh, what i'm going to do um okay now i have to pass this in console dot write line okay before that let we have a property called q dot count it counts the number of uh, okay sorry it's a property i guess okay this works fine and after dequeuing let us count it once again let us count the uh, queue once again we have property called count to do that work okay now when i to just give a clear representation i'll add another space between them okay now when i run this program let us observe what is the thing it's going to do us okay first it is going to count the number of values present there yes the number of values present here are let's wait for that my file is being scanned okay let's wait for here okay now what we are doing is you are you are counting number of values present okay what are the number of values present here like 1 2 3 4 and 5 Uh, like one not one to one not five are the five values present in this queue? Okay, at the starting when we counted the number of values, it gave us five. Okay, and that's what we want the result. It gave the correct exact output like five. Okay, later what we did do? We used a DQ method. What is this DQ method going to do? This DQ method is going to remove and return the object at the beginning of the queue. It means that yes, it removed this value. which because it is present at the first at the top so it removed this object and later um, when we counted the number of values present in this queue it found it to be 4 it means that dq method is going to remove remove that particular value uh, which is present at the top and and it is going to print the value which is present on the console that's all about the dq method to be in simple what is this dq method going to do it removes and returns the object at the beginning of the queue so what did it do it just removed and it also returned the value what it removed like it removed the 101 because it is present at the top 
okay this is like first in first first out format it is following okay this is what the uh, usage of dq method okay uh, coming back the some of the other methods like peak returns and first item from the queue okay what is this peak method going to do okay let us come here and uh, without wasting much time um, we'll use q dot peak okay what is this peak method going to do it's always going to return the topmost element present in the queue like 101 okay here also what we are doing we're just counting the value and the starting how it is and once after we use the peak method what is the change going to happen and later we also use um, method called q dot count okay to count whether the number of values present at the starting and the ending is also the same or not we are cross verifying it once we use the peak value peak method okay now when i run this program it is going to print the number of values like five and later it is going to give the topmost element present in that queue one out one and later it is again it is counting like the number of values present here are five only but uh, what happened in dq dq it changed to four why because it's going to remove that particular value which is going to print on the console that is the difference between peak and dq okay and let us examine some other methods like it contains and clear okay what is this contains okay now let us remove all these things okay uh, q dot contains okay uh, contains we are, we are going to pass the key here uh, okay what is that contains like 103 whether it is going to contain 103 let us check it okay what is this contains type it is type of bool so it's going to check uh, whether this number is present in this queue or not if it is present it is going to give true or false so i have to store this result in some variable called yes okay now when i print that variable it is going to give true or false based on the value present or not since 103 is present it is going to give us true on the console as obviously it is doing that work okay now we have another method left what is that method like uh, q dot clear okay uh, then your will use some method called q dot count just cross verify what is that q going to do and console dot write line q dot okay now what is this it's clear method going to do this clear method is going to remove all the values present in this queue okay at the starting the count will be 5 once we use clear method at the last count will be 0 okay because it's going to remove all the elements obviously see here 5 and 0 okay that's what we exactly wanted okay thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to Ankh Pro training below